He used to like close the demand sell with a 3% gain against its counterparts. The reason for the continued demand is the expectations of a more fair rate hikes. Most investors are confident that the Federal Open Market Committee will decide to raise interest rates by another 25 basis points at its next meeting, given the signs of a high inflation and overheated labor market. Notably, the next batch of data on the US labor market will be released on Friday. And we will discuss it in our video review on the InstaForex TV channel. Investors are concerned that the recovery of the global economy is not catching up with the expectations. The business activity index for large industrial companies in China has fallen into recession. On Thursday, the same is expected only for medium and small companies. Economists expect the trend to continue and that the index may stand at 49.5 points below the threshold of 50 points in the contraction area. Such news is likely to increase risk aversion and undermine the position of the Australian dollar as the currency of the country that supplies raw materials to the Chinese industry and as an indicator of a risk sentiment in the Asia-Pacific region. In addition, economists from the research group Market Economics are due to release data on a manufacturing PMI in the European countries, and they are also expected to show declines. Apparently, investors have been too quick to celebrate this positive news. There is still nothing to cheer about in the economic reports from Europe. Only the expectations of an interest rate hike by the ECB, which is maintaining tight monetary in an attempt to slow inflation, could cause traders to buy the euro. A preliminary estimate of a May's CPI growth is to be released on Thursday. The figure may show a slowdown from a 7 to 6.3 percent. However, there are quite a few experts who uh, doubt such an optimistic forecast. They suggest a decline to 6.5%. In any case, these figures are still far from the 2% annual target, which means that ECB will continue to take measures to curb inflation. The Institute for Supply Managers will also publish the Index of Industrial Activity in the United States. However, there is nothing encouraging to report here as a result of the high interest rates on loans and expectations of a recession. The index will also post a decline. At the end of the current trading week, markets will pay more attention to the ongoing U.S. debt ceiling saga, as well as a wait for the U.S. employment data. And previous reports confirmed that the U.S. labor market is overheated, showing that the number of jobs created during the month exceeded 200,000. Economists are hoping to see signs of a cooling and um, are forecasting 189,000 jobs added. Since the U.S. economy is dependent on the consumer spending, this will be a signal to the Fed that it's time to pause the monetary policy tightening that leads to a decline in the consumer activity and a recession. Therefore, the fugue direction of the US dollar will be determined by these releases. How we're going to be in the short term in financial markets, we will definitely tell you in our news releases. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.